Hey, it's good to see you. Today we are in the candle section of Dollar Tree and we're going to straighten it up. That's a noisy cart over there. We have a little pig. Hold on. There's some noisy carts in here. We have a little pig, but I'm going to leave it out because I don't know where it goes. Look at this pretty little, um, little candle holder. That's adorable. We're just, oh, look, they have these pretty yellow ones and a, a burgundy one. Those are neat. They have a little, a little dangly thing on them. Let's see, where does that go? Here we have burgundy. I'm gonna move these over. I'm gonna make room because we also have orange ones. Those are pretty. <laughs> that's like a scared face. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We have pink and these yellow ones. We have this. Uh oh. I don't have room to put those. Let's see. Oh. Slide these over a little bit. I love the selection of candle holders they have here. It's so cool. And the ones on the shelf below are nice too. There we go. Heart's gonna haunt my dreams. They have these cute little trinket trays that look like unicorns. Those are sweet. Look. Little face. Okay. And we have these um, little mirrors here with glitter on them. We have square ones and round ones. The round ones come in gold and silver. And see, you can get a pretty gold candle that you put right on top. You can mix and match. Gold candles. I don't like that layout. Here's a square silver one. Oh, they go right here. The, well, the square ones do. How about we do this? We put the square ones back here. I'm going to just stick these two round ones in the front because that way you have room for the candles. They look like they're wrapped in something, don't they? I like that texture. Gold and silver. That's good. Okay. Here is a little salted caramel candle. It looks like there are two of these right here. Salted caramel. And you have these little things of smelly good stuff. Fragrance oil. It is coconut and citrus. I think that's what they all are. They're all coconut and citrus. And lemon and lavender candles. This little thing is broken, so it doesn't it doesn't hang anymore. Yeah, there's it's not like the the little packs of gum. I can't I can't bring that one back to life, unfortunately. Put that gold candle there, and we have the little these cute little candles. These are also uh, lemon and lavender. I'll just organize that a little. Nice. That's good. And we have these little round glass things here that you could put, you could put several, you could put at least two candles on there if you wanted to. Or you could put one of the bigger ones on there. And we have the same size with apple cinnamon. I have noticed though, I mean, that one doesn't have a label on it. Um, neither does that one. I've noticed though that these don't have quite as much fragrance as a more expensive candle, but then again, you know, it's, you know, you do kind of get what you pay for, I guess. 
I love the um, the Yankee Candle Company candles. I have one right now that I'm using in my kitchen. It's Mary, uh, Mary, it's like Christmas chocolate mint or something like that. Mary mint chocolate something or other. It was one that they put out last Christmas, I guess. And I love it. I, I haven't used it in a long time, but I found it in the cabinet the other day. It smells so nice. I love it. Oh, let's see. We have one down here. One of these little plates. These little trays. And over here we have two more of these little round mirrored things. One. They're both silver. Two. And we have two of these little silver candles. Just stick them right there. Okay. They only have two of these. This is um, fall leaves. We have these little things here. Fall leaves is that one. And warm maple syrup. Not bad. My guess is they are putting out, they're going to start putting out more fall stuff. And these are just two random ones that showed up here early. They do have some wax melts from Luminescence, Cinnamon Spice, and Caramel Apple. They have, it looks like they have four kinds here. And we have fall leaves and campfire pumpkin. Don't put the pumpkin in the campfire because that's not going to end well. Sound like the start of a horror movie or something. Okay, and then we, ooh, this is a pretty color. We have warm maple syrup and blueberry pancakes. Oh, that sounds lovely. I bet that smells nice. And finally, we have spiced pumpkin and marshmallow fireside. I'll tell you, every cart in this Dollar Tree sounds like a percussion instrument of some sort. I have never heard, I have never been in a store where all the carts sound bad. It's crazy. Okay, and, and another neat thing, they have so many little um, individual candles here. We have Beach Bonfire, Blue Lagoon. Okay, now these are all Beach Bonfire, these gray ones. Is that, what is this? Oh, Sea Salt Breeze. Nice. Looks like, looks like we have two of those. And we also have Mermaid Reef. That's Blue Lagoon, let me see here. Mermaid Reef, Blue Lagoon, Sea Salt Breeze. What does this smell like? It seems to be popular. Let me see. Ooh, it actually smells like low tide. I don't like it. And rosewater fig. Ooh, interesting. Along with golden birch wood. And this one is coastal breeze. It has a little plastic thing on it. I can't open it one-handed, but we, you can also get these that look like the little Yankee candles. They have a little top on there. That's the same, it's the same flavor. It's Coastal Breeze. And then they always have vanilla. Honestly, though, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that vanilla stuff. The, these, it just, they smell weird to me. And we have Fresh Linen. And here are these lemon and lavender ones again. I just love these little jars. They're so cute. And apple cinnamon. Sorry, I, I got distracted. It's been a long day. I've had a, I've just had a long day today. Hey, you could get one for your sign too. Look, they have different astrological signs. I'll tell you what though, I sniffed these a minute ago. I had to wait. There were these two women over here just mesmerized by the candles. Like they literally stood here for 10 minutes just staring at them in awe. I sniffed some of these candles. Funny thing is, they all smell exactly the same. <laughs> There's literally no difference. They're all the same candle. These are cute. Look, see the good. Cozy vibes, happy heart. 
These are cute. And then this is, um, here's that warm maple syrup again. These are nice. And, ooh, Old Williamsburg fresh peaches. I bet that's nice. And mango and blood orange. That's also from Old Williamsburg. Oops, there's one way up there. Those are the cutest little mason jars. Isn't that the cutest little? <laughs> that's adorable. It's like a baby mason jar. Oh, and here we have cactus blossom. And sage and citrus. People are playing with the Halloween toys back yonder. This is, these are the ones that look like a little cup of coffee. It's double caramel. And we don't have much down here. Number six, meditate. I've never seen old Williamsburg candles here before. And a mango coconut candle. There's another one. Cookies and cream. There's hardly anything back there. This is one of the black cherries. And there's, we have the, so you can get them in different types. You can get the ones like this, or you can get them in a little, little thing like that. Or you can get one without the jar, or without the lid, I mean. That's, it's the same size candle. Here's a freesia candle. I love freesia. Maybe when it's lit, it smells like freesia. Actually, right now, it doesn't smell like anything. One more, more of the little coffees. Let me see. There's a cookies and cream one that looks like that. And a double, double caramel. Oh, wait a minute. They're all down here. They go down here. That's where they go. They're probably getting ready to put out a bunch of fall stuff. Chocolate mocha, cafe au lait. This is apple cinnamon. Here's another chocolate mocha. What is that? These are all the same. Chocolate mocha. And back there is a, oh, these are some of the little LED metallics. You can get two little LED star candles for a dollar. Good for 240 total hours. Wow. They have them in blue and red. And some more of these little coffee cups. Chocolate mint mocha. What's this one? Ooh, strawberries and cream. I bet that smells nice. Mm. I would put it over there, but it won't fit. There's a different one. Sweet cherries. I want to try these. Oh, and they have a cinnamon bun, too. Oh, there's the sweet cherries one right there. And, no, I don't see another one of those. Chocolate and mint mocha. Ooh, I bet that smells good. And here's one. It's a mystery flavor. We don't know. They have a sugar cookie. Sometimes sugar cookies, uh, sugar cookie candles smell good. Sometimes they just don't smell like much of anything. Fresh linen up here. All right. Oh, and here's some more of the LED votive candles. 240 total hours, so I guess each one is good for 120. Uh, get two for a dollar. They have them in cream, white, and red. And the little thing is messed up. And it's stubborn to get up there. You can also get these little unscented candles, which are great to keep around. I have some for emergencies. I have some big, long-lasting um, can emergency candles. You can get them on Amazon pretty cheap, and I like to keep some just, I mean, if the power goes out or something, you know, it's good to have. It's just plain vanilla. These are big, though. These are um, two and a half by 2.8 inches. It's not bad for a dollar. Or you can get the four um, votive candles, the same scent. Yeah, what was this again? This was some, oh, warm maple syrup. Yeah. Here's a lid to one of the coffee cups. Maybe that one.
Cafe Ole. And down here we have the tall candles. We have Day of the Dead candles. A very enthusiastic child, one aisle over. Somebody telling them to put something back. Okay, hold on. And we have St. Jude candles. And the Lady of Guadalupe. And down here we just have plain red and white. They don't have anything on them. Okay. Check out these candle holders for the little votive candles. You can get these nice, well, some of them are taller than others. You can get these little glass doohickeys here. It's like the world's daintiest wine glass. <laughs> oh, they have them in three sizes. Look, they have these, and then they have some that are even smaller. Those are precious. I like those. Okay, I remember now. I remember now why I don't like doing the candle aisle. It's, it's hard to do this aisle because it's like women are just drawn to it, and I spend my entire time trying to stay out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, you have to stop a lot to get out of the way. But look at this pretty little candle holder with a metal leaf on it. That's cool. Okay, I know this is short, but I've done, honestly, I've done about all I can do <laughs> for this poor little aisle. But, I don't know. I think it's a, a bit of an improvement. Looks better than it did. Yeah, these you can't, the votive candles can't. I like to do a lot for those, but it looks a little better. But I do like their selection of stuff. Like, oh, I didn't see these. You have this little thing that you can set your, your little candle down. You just put it on this and just put it in there. They have these cool holographic holders. These are nice. Oh, there's also a wishing jar. Add your wishes or wishes or messages to the jar. Nice. Okay, but there we have the candles. Some stores have more of a selection than others. This one doesn't. I've seen some that have more, but anyway. And there it is. Thank you so much for coming to see this. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again really soon.